Niagara has always been a magnet for daredevils. Tightrope walkers, also known as funimbulus, loved to walk over the pulsing Niagara River near the falls. Others went over the falls in barrels, and dozens have challenged the lower Niagara Whirlpool Rapids by swimming or crashing through these treacherous waters in boats or barrels. Niagara's first tightrope walker, known professionally as Blondin, successfully carried his scared manager, Harry Colcord, on his back across the Niagara Rapids in August 1859. The crowd estimated at 50,000 watched with bated breath. Later, Blondin carried his assistant, Romain Mouton, successfully over the Niagara River. On September 5, 1860, Signor Guillermo and Antonio Farini, near the site of the present-day Rainbow Bridge, duplicated almost all of Blondin's tricks on the wire. This aerialist put a different twist to walking the tightrope. Professor J.F. Jenkins, billed as the Canadian Blondin, on August 25, 1869, rode a bicycle velocipede over the Niagara River. His eight-foot balancing pole had iron balls on the ends that weighed 25 pounds each. A walker simply known as Signor Bellini on August 27, 1873, dazzled the audience by walking out onto the middle of his wire and dropping 170 feet to the mate of the missed boat waiting below. He lived. The only lady to walk a wire across Niagara, Maria Spelterina, crossed the raging Niagara River on July 8, 1876. She made the walk again on July 12th and 19th, this time with peach baskets on her feet. Captain Matthew Webb on July 2nd, 1883, lost his life in an attempt to swim the Whirlpool Rapids. Carlisle Graham made four trips through the Whirlpool Rapids in a large wooden barrel. He even successfully swam the lower Niagara River Rapids, and from 1886 to 1905, he was the dominant figure on the Niagara stunting scene. Locals called him Hero of Niagara. On August 22, 1886, William Kendall gained his 10 minutes of fame by swimming the Whirlpool Rapids. Here, he poses for a studio photograph. Here, we see Clifford Calvary make his first crossing over Niagara Gorge on a three-quarter inch wire in 1887. One tightrope walker, Samuel Dixon, took to the wire in 1890, crossing over the Niagara River. Thousands of spectators crammed onto the Cantilever Railroad Bridge and nearby shoreline to watch his successful walk. Clifford Calvary on July 1st, 1893, set up his wire over the Whirlpool Rapids and pushed a wheelbarrow carrying a stove to the other side. In the center of the rope, he lit the stove and made toast. On July 4th, he established a speed record for a rope crossing, just over two minutes. Peter Bowser Nissen strikes a pose in his boat named Fool Killer. He successfully navigated the boat on July 9, 1900, from the Maid of the Mist dock through the treacherous Niagara River Class 5 rapids to the Whirlpool Rapids. To wow the crowds even more, Lincoln Beachy took to the air on June 27, 1911, in his Curtis biplane. He flew over the falls and the Maid of the Mist, and then flew under the upper Steel Arch Bridge. He repeated the feat the following day. On June 4, 1975, Henri Rechetin crossed illegally on the cables of the Niagara Spanish Aero car on a motorcycle, with his wife Janik hanging upside down by her foot from a frame below. The motorcycle was driven by Frank Lucas. In the summers of 2002 and 2005 in Niagara Falls, Canada, Canadian tightrope walker Jay Cochran, billed Prince of the Air, walked an 1,800-foot wire strung between Skyline Tower and Niagara Falls Casino. He performed the feat successfully dozens of times to the applause of the crowds below. If today's urban world seems at times to stifle the human spirit, far removed from Niagara's daredevil days of old, know that there will always be those that yearn to defy danger, daring men and women who risk their lives for glory. It's a part of the human spirit that refuses to die. <laughs>